At least 10 different nations are set to play in Belo Horizonte during the 2014 tournament. And during their stay in Minas Gerais, fans of those teams would be well advised to visit Oro Preto, a former mining town that UNESCO has designated a World Heritage Site. Located just 98 kilometers southeast of Belo, Oro Preto dates back to the late 17th century, when the gold rush was at its height. It was a time of Portuguese rule, and the Baroque architecture that was prevalent at the time is still very much in evidence in the town today. Whilst mining continues in the area, albeit on a much smaller scale, tourism is now the town's big earner, with visitors from all corners of the globe a near permanent fixture in the cobblestone streets. Ouro Preto, which was once the capital of Minas Gerais, boasts a number of churches, the most famous of which is the Church of St. Francis of Assisi, one of many buildings sculpted by local artisan Ale Jardinho. It took us three days to come here by aeroplane from China. The journey was very tough, but we are glad that we came. This place is very beautiful indeed. We also think the Brazilian people are very welcoming, very good. We really like this place. The market is another place of pilgrimage for the tourists. And this being Brazil, there's no escaping football, even in Ouro Preto. It's very much part of the fabric of society, a fact that hasn't gone unnoticed by some visitors from Europe. Football thrives here. You can see it straight away when you're walking in the streets and when you're passing by bars which have TVs with football on them. Everyone here has football shirts. It really does thrive here, more so than in Holland. There'll be football shirts galore in Oro Preto come 2014, although a heavy coat may also be required. The temperature here can drop below zero in June and July, but don't let that deter you.